This is a story of boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. What's going on, guys? I am a fan of Fresh and Fit. I should say I'm more of a fan of Myron, because Fresh be sounding crazy sometimes. But I came across this clip where Sneeko, the you know YouTuber or former YouTuber, content creator, who's been canceled to oblivion, he was having a debate with Fresh about should you tell the truth or should you lie for money <laughs> when it comes to content creation. And it got very interesting. I would love to check it out with you guys and give my opinion on it. Hit the like button, share the video, drop some comments. Once again, I like Fresh and Fit, but it's more so Myron, right, um, that I, I rock with. And more so when he's just kicking information, right? I, I like information Myron. All right, let's check this out. It's gonna get crazy. Yeah, the medical misinformation. Yeah. What? What's up? I just think um, these platforms. Hey, what's up, Mello? How you doing? Have agendas, and Here we go. they have rules. Appreciate you guys for real. And if you don't follow the rules, you're out. Yeah, awesome. It's that simple. Yes. However, Not like the wokies. Let's be fair here. In a house, you have guests that come every now and then. Some stay longer than they should stay, but they're here anyway. And your favorites, you have your favorite guests, and you know also favorite guests like, like Sneeko. And as a result, they come to your house, and you're like, you know what? I'm trying to understand Play what ball, you The ones that I like, I'll give you some warnings. You know what? Take your shoes off. Put them, <laughs> in, put them, put them by the front door. You know what? You got your shoes on. Get out of my house. Is it's very simple. Sneeko always needs to land the plane. The point is. Is that yeah, he ain't really saying these companies have favorites. And if you're not a favorite, you're out. Either by something that you did that it's kind of a gray area, or they may say, eh, this person I don't like at all. Just do ban him for this, this, and this, and make it very vague. And that's it. That's all it takes. Someone not to like you, see your tweets, see your content, and then say, get him out of here. So it works, bro. Their platform. The hell so. is Fresh talking about? Do you think you said something we don't know? Huh? We're, we know this. No, you don't. You went all got banned. Okay. That was <laughs> two years. This is crazy. I ain't trying to be like a sneaker defendant. But yeah, that was that was years ago. Saying that someone doesn't know something because they made a mistake years ago is not a good gotcha, Fresh. That's that's crazy. That's like if someone, like when I was a kid, I, turned on, um, I touched the iron, right? Burned the heck out my hand. <laughs> and learn my lesson. If you ask me two years later, you don't know not to touch the iron. You did it two years ago. That would be stupid. <laughs> that, that would be pretty, like a pretty dumb, I guess, uh, way of thinking. But okay. All right. Let's hear what he has to say. It seems like he's going at the Sneeko uh, and saying he was wrong and whatever for being canceled. Years ago, <laughs> like, and also when I was speaking about it, I knew what the risk I was taking. But then, but then if you knew that, then that was dumb. Okay. You realize that people, some people need to do this. Some people need to put things on the line, just like the guy you had earlier. Yeah. The whistleblower who's going to might, he might lose his job to tell the truth. Well, Sneeko, I agree with you. So, but what you're saying, like Let you keep finish. saying as if we don't know that there's favoritism on social media, everybody knows this, but some people are going to tell the truth regardless. And if you don't have those people, the truth never gets out there. Facts. Well, guess what? When you're Ben, your voice, what does it do to your voice? Well, you're saying things that are so obvious what? that like, we know it gets suppressed and you have to go to different platforms, but the platforms are still really? there. But the thing is, you know this and you still did it. Yes. Okay. So, so what's the problem? What saying? Some people might not know this. They are making content. Sneeko is saying he knew the consequences, did it anyway, and is perfectly fine with the consequences. And you're trying to like make him admit that he's wrong he was regretful and he should never have like it's it's up to personal preference right right even if i don't agree with certain things that either him or you or anyone says right if they stand on their word and their principles then you trying to shame them sounds nuts what that that sounds crazy to me <laughs> right it sounds like fresh want to sell his soul that's what I don't even want to jump out the, off the ledge and just say that. It sounds like Fresh want to sell his soul. Everybody so, knows. No, they don't. I, I talk about the band if, quite a bit. If they did, they wouldn't be getting banned. 
Do you think Candace Owens didn't know that there's favoritism on social media? Wow. No, no. What I'm saying is that like, they don't like you. That, that's the point I'm trying to make here. So if you don't follow in their agenda. You've been suspended on YouTube for like months, maybe even years, I feel like. Are you stupid, Fresh? <laughs> like this just uh, is, is really crazy. I don't know why. I think maybe he just has something personal against Nico and he's just trying to use this. And I, I personally hate those kind of people, right? I've had friends like that, that they took something personal and instead of just being direct and us discussing it, they held it in and then just started trying to come at me hard as hell. And I'm just like, yo, you good? To where other people are wondering like, why are you going so hard on, on BX? <laughs> what Beast Boy do? They're like, they, I don't want to put him out there, but he's just mad because I'm not. Mad because I'm not. Just tell the damn truth. Like, instead of like, you trying to embarrass Sneak on here for whatever reason and you guys are in the same boat honestly and uh and they don't like you that's when you're fucked okay who do you think doesn't know that that got banned a lot of people don't know can you name right danny who got banned who's telling the truth right danny if uh people really want to hear the content they will go to any platform to hear it when i got uh temporarily suspended and banned and i started doing like streams and content elsewhere there were people that came to to see me on other platforms and those are people that really enjoyed my content and wanted to hear what i had to say Right. Um, it might the number might be lower just because the algorithm base. Some people didn't even know I was banned. Right? When I came back, people was like, yo, where you been? I'm like, I was banned doing content on another platform. Right. Um, so you can't really hold that for like what Fresh is saying. Like, oh, this and this. <laughs> what are you talking about, fam? If you want to say your or speak your mind and you want to stand on your principles, then do it. Right? How far would this go? If they been talking about Jesus you, and you're a Christian, you're gonna be like, well, I better, huh? I'm gonna just deny my faith so I could get this money. Like, nigga, what are you talking about? No. No, I'm team Jesus. The hell are you talking about? Nigga? If I get banned for saying that I'm team Jesus, then it is what it is. Well, I won't say their name. But someone close to us that we know very well. Okay. That, that was in Romania. I just think that like, people need to hear what's happening behind the scenes. And if they don't hear it, then they make content. Oh, I'm going to do what these guys up. do. Right. But there's risk talking. involved with it. You're changing your point. You're saying that we shouldn't tell the truth so that we cannot get, so no, that no, we don't no. get to make money. What you're saying is, if you <laughs> end up making content that's not what they want you to say, they will ban you. We yes. know this, right? But yes. some people have to do that regardless. No, they don't. Okay. Yeah, they do. <laughs> All right. Okay. We can we can disagree. Not everyone wants to be a martyr, bro. And <laughs> so you don't have to be a martyr. I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> but people like this is nuts. He's trying to tell people not to stand on their principles. Whoa. If you don't want to do that, that's and mind you, this is a man's fair channel. Fresh is telling men to not stick to their their principles. Oh yeah, nah. This is bad. I can't front. I know Mimer don't agree. There's no way. Fine. But yeah, don't try to say that like it's something we don't do know. His own thing for People while, need bro. to tell the truth regardless see, of what the, the concept. I want to see what a, a podcast look like without Fresh, bro. You know, I just want to see what it look like. Just if, let's see if we just have a, a better show. The consequences are. Now you hate Fresh. You just content, right? They want to become RP, RP content creators and they say, oh, Myron and Fresh, how do we do it? And we're like, yo, just so you know this, when you go into it, you may lose money, you may lose your, lose, lose your channel, you may lose friends and maybe even you know, your girl. And they say, you know what? I'm good. I don't want to do it no more. But they didn't know this coming into it. it so I'm saying to the public, like just so you understand, you take a Kamala you deal this pattern, right now. you follow this path, it can happen to you. Kamala What's wrong with that? Okay, but you're saying it to me as if like, I didn't know this before. You're like, you didn't know this. No, and you, you, know, you know what I'm looking at you right now? You, you say because, it like, like you say like, we, we both shouldn't know that have you, done it. No, no, we both know you were warned and you still did it. And then, yes, but, so, but right. they, they should know so that they can make, they can make a choice. Okay, most of these people are not going to be content creators. How do you know? Okay, you don't know what's the, watching. The bigger point is that no matter what happens, tell the truth. Do not let these people hold your balls you and let you and decide what you believe is true and what's not as true. Who are these people? The pe okay, fresh. We know the people that run the platform. You baiting them. You baiting them. See, let me just this say this about the gate. <laughs> I have no hate for any community, right? I just he's baiting them. Fresh is baiting this nigga. I have no hate for any community. I just want to state that and we're watching this for educational purposes. So watching the debate. From your opinion and your, your thoughts, because I think everyone should make a choice. It doesn't have to be always 
going on this path and be a martyr. I think you can you choose You don't to. have to be a martyr. No, no, but you're yeah, saying, I'm, not, I'm not saying you have to do that. at all costs oh, why and ruin, ruin things for yourself. Some people need to do that. Yeah, but not everyone. Okay, so, so you I'm don't making, have I'm to. I'm making an argument for people that don't want to do this shit. Okay. Is, is that okay? Then then if you guys don't want to tell the truth, that's okay. That's but fine, yeah. I'm saying, you're you're shaming no, it in a way. I'm telling the truth. You're That's fine. Yeah. This nigga Stiko just asked him if you don't want it's just a, if you don't want to tell the truth, then that's what, and then this mother effort doesn't say, no, no, I'm not saying that I'm I'm gonna be out here lying. I'm not saying I'm not telling the truth. He goes, That's fine. Myron goes, F that. I'm telling the truth. And then Fresh goes, that's fine. Fresh just admitted that he's about to be a shill. He's about to grift. He's about to say whatever is going to get him this money. If he knows something that's true, if he knows that he's going to lose his money, he ain't going to say it. I could never take anything that Fresh says about man's fear. Like anything when it comes to dating advice, men, relationship. I can't take nothing he say like serious at all. He's, he's going to say whatever is going to get him the money. And now Fresh is about to be like Abba and Preach. I don't want to take man advice from that. <laughs> so someone who just admitted like, yeah, I'm about to lie for this bread. I'm, I'm good. I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. Me personally, yeah, I might watch other stuff, but <laughs> I respect the people who put their integrity first. That, that put the truth first. That, that's what I'm about. Right, so yeah, Fresh is, is wilding. Uh, Myron, yo, fam. Myron, nigga, this, this is about to be associated with you. Yeah, but your your rhetoric is that you're shaming it away. Like you should have done this. Or you could have made more money. You could have you could have had yeah, Twitter. Sold, sold. You could have had Snapchat. You could have had YouTube. Whatever. You lose it, and then you still do it anyway. You still succeed regardless. And that's good for you. Oh, so then, why do you keep bringing it up as if it's something that I, like right. I made a mistake? Well, what do you think? I just told you what I think four times in a row. I don't think I made a mistake. I think I did the right thing. I think you made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> I, I hate passive aggressive people. I, I really do. It frustrates me. I think I would have had a different reaction than Sneeko. Don't be passive aggressive towards me. I hate that. He just asked you a direct question. And he responds, well, what do you think? And then after he owns it, like, nigga, what, I think what I said, I said it multiple times. Well, I think that it was a mistake. You can't tell somebody what a mistake is for their life. But one, two, you should have said that like 10 seconds ago when he asked you like a man. Right? Like, what, what, what do you think? What is this passive blue pill shit you on, bro? They're trying to get me to go in. This is nasty. Fresh. You know, that's crazy. But this is what you're saying. Right, I know that. And of course, there's always something else uh, people want. And, but someone else on the one has a price. Wait, hold on. Everyone has a price. It isn't always money, but there will always be something that someone will sell their soul for. Bull shit. Let me, can I, let's full screen it. I didn't even see someone said that dumbass statement. Bull shit. Where the mic at? I want to make sure, I want I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me and hear me good, nigga. Bull. Shit, this might not get monetized now. I just got to. I don't care. Nigga, no. Are you cr are you crazy? BX Beast Boy will never sell his soul. My soul ain't for me to sell. I already gave it to the Lord. What are you talking about? I don't have no price, nigga. Ain't no take that everybody shit. <laughs> that everyone. Oh, take that shit out your mind, bro. Not everybody's built. If you think you have a price, then say that, nigga. Don't put that on other people. I'm not built like, like that, nigga. Nigga, I've sacrificed my entire life to be honest, nigga. What? What? Are you crazy? Mr. Walk out of job? No notice, nigga? What? What? Are you, are you bugging? I got to... Get somebody that I used to work with years ago to be like, oh, no, nah, this, this nigga, he'll put his integrity first for nothing, like for everything. He'll just, he'll leave <laughs> after the job. What are you talking Like, you got to make sure, like, don't say everybody, nigga, because <laughs> I'm not in that list. And I know I ain't the only real motherfucker on earth because I got a, a bunch of supporters that agree with that who are like me, 
who put their integrity before any of that, but they put their, the truth before any of that. There's nothing you can offer me. There's nothing. That's going to make me go, okay, I'm, I'll push some bullshit. There's not, not a damn thing. I don't give a fuck. Niggas can bring people back from the death. I'm going to be like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't like zombies anyway. I'm cool. <laughs> like, no, nigga. Like, that's not everyone is like that. Me? I'm different, nigga. All right, come I've been demonetized because I said something <laughs> when people kept telling me no. Right? I paid the cost, nigga. Look at all the people I beef with on YouTube, nigga. That's just because I told the truth. I ain't never attacked none of these niggas. They just didn't like that. I told the truth. So yeah, not everyone. You can't say a statement like everyone has a price or everyone will say this. So that's a like, I don't know if it's nihilistic or pessimistic um, way of thinking, but I for one, nigga, and anyone who knows me can vouch for this shit. Ain't no price for me. Ain't no price for me. So yeah, no hate or no shade towards you, right? I don't want you to think I'm coming at you, but yeah, you got to be careful when you say everyone. No, nigga, no. If you're speaking for yourself, then you should say that. But no, I don't have a price. I think my five years of YouTube have shown that. I think, I think, I think I've shown to the public me turning down the selling of souls. Plethora of times. Um, but that's just me, you know what I mean? You said, how about the lives of the ones you love? Listen, peep this, peep this. I'll see him in heaven, my nigga. As you talking about, how about for the lives of the one, I'll see them in heaven, nigga. You talking about, how my, what would my grandma say to me, nigga? You crazy. <laughs> nigga, my grandma be shaking her finger at me in heaven. Nigga, you out your mind. I, we all will be there okay? because we ain't compromise. I think if you read the Bible, there's people that they did that in the Bible. They put people's lives on the line, denounce Jesus right now, right now. And there's some people that bitched out and did it. I'd have been one of them. Up, nope. Do what you got to do, nigga. Do, look at them straight in the eye. Nigga. You think anything on this earth matter once the afterlife happens? Are you crazy? I'm like, no, it don't. <laughs> it, none of this shit on earth matter. Money, nothing, life, our life. None of that shit matters once we get to the other side. We at the pearly gates. Nigga, he's got a book in front of you. Okay, you, right here. You see when it when it said that you you pretty much sold your integrity, started lying and shit and all of that, all that. Um, press that button over there that, that sends him downstairs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he gonna love it down there. Down there, they do whatever. Um, but yeah, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, he said, whoever did it, I'm nigga. I already made my decision. I am who I am. Man. I'm for Jesus. I'm for the team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Love my family and all that. And they would, nigga, they would say the same shit I'm saying. At least the family members I fuck with. Uh, the other ones, nigga, the ones I don't fuck with, psh, nigga, they'll sell you for a quarter. Um, but yeah, man, like I'm built different. That shit, I don't mean, I've turned down so much money, bro. Even before I was a YouTuber, I was in the music industry and ran away. I had a deal when I was 16 for some random production. I up and ran away because I saw some shit. It was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm, not for me. So yeah, nah. <laughs> and I said, Peter? Yeah, that's him. My name is BXB Boy, though. Uh, but yeah, it just I wanted to make sure that that was clear. No hate or anything, you know what I mean? I like the fact that we all can discuss things and disagree, and I hope no one gets offended. But yeah, me, I'm not like that. <laughs> do you see what like, like, I'm, I'm going to stick to listen, my Do you listen, hear him looping? Listen, no, no. Do you, do you hear we him looping? We disagree or? on this on, on this part. Okay. And the part is, you did things that you want to do. You, you paid a price for it. So then how it. is that a mistake if I did what I want to do, and I'm happy with the decisions, and I told the truth? What did I ask you? What did I ask you before the show? I asked you if you could go back in time. I've been offered, nigga. I think about what happened if you didn't do. <laughs> what do I, what okay, man, what did I? What are the last statements you said? Was those that you say won't just haven't been offered your price? Yeah, yeah. I answer you off the show. Still okay. said no. That's changed when I asked you back in the day. <laughs> Still said before, no. Before, I wish I didn't get bad on YouTube. It's, it's difficult. No. I, of course. But, but that's what I'm saying. 
some people don't want to lose their channel or lose their, their livelihood. And God for God for then, sake, then you guys could go to work and do all same. Appreciate you as well. Only fans content and then just like run around on Twitch and like then do that. Well, guess <laughs> what? Then do that. There's kind there's Kai's people not, there for there. Speed, Playboy Max, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so you could decide, do you want to make more money and then not tell the truth and not have convictions? Or do you want to tell the truth regardless and make a difference in the world? If you want to make more money and run around with celebrities and sell your soul, that's fine. It's really a choice of, do you want right. to sell your soul or not? I would rather no. tell the truth. I don't, my soul is not for sale. And that's if okay. you want to sell it, okay. But that's not, a, you should not say it's a mistake to have conviction. Right. That's crazy. See, you, you change that's your opinion demonic. nowadays. When, like, I've <laughs> never changed my opinion about this. I actually this. When we we're in the UK, and someone warned you, and we spoke about on the phone about it. You were so you saying Sneeko said that? All right, let's see if he said that. Let's see. Or two as well. Yeah, two years ago, the day I got banned. Yes. 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 Yeah, it was difficult. But, but that's what I'm saying. So I did. I never regretted anything that I've done telling the truth. I've never told you that. And I've never said that. But I don't know why you believe that, bro. I don't. I never forget anything. What did I say? You want me to tell people? What happened in that room? I can say it right now. I say it. It was me, Luke Belmar, his brother. Uh, mine wasn't there, and yeah, Tristan I don't, I don't, yeah, and Andrew. I don't you guys can give the opinion on Sneeko, right? I'm not defending any aspect of besides just this one point. If he's willing to say, "Nigga, I, I said what I said. I'm not taking anything back. I'm standing on my principles. I'm not trying to sell my soul." For money, because Sneeko was a big streamer and he could have went the Kai Snap route or the Aiden Ross route and made a bunch of money still be. But the fact that he's willing to say, yo, I deal with the consequences for me to not only have my freedom, but it helped me find my religion and yada, yada, yada. Right. So whether people like him or not or think he's goofy or not, I don't think that really matters to this point at all. Right. <laughs> like um, people might think Fresh is goofy. I definitely think Fresh is goofy for how you're talking now. Um, but there's a plethora of things I disagree with Sneeko on. But to the point of you not selling your soul to, for just to get the bag, Sneeko is right and Fresh is wrong. Just in my personal opinion. But people are going to have their opinions on each person. Okay, people who don't like me. Before I got I back, I hope that doesn't cloud their judgment from like a, a factual debate or a topic, though. You know what I mean? I hope that people would uh, judge me based off of what's being said in the, the context during the debate. I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Well, give the, freedom. the full context, yeah. right? And they warned me. And you're you're going to yap look, for five look, minutes. About you yes, you warned me. About what's going to happen? And I did not and care. You, understandable. Okay. Then we were shopping, me, you, and Musa. You just said he changed his opinion. He just, he just stated he did not change his opinion back then, and you just confirmed. So if Fresh don't tell me a time when Sneeko disagreed with what he's saying now and switched sides, then Fresh is a damn liar. He just said he saw him change his opinion. In your UK, you got an email or a text or something like that, you got banned. You were instantly like, fuck. And like anybody would be. You were like, damn, like quiet as a mouse. Understandable. I'll be I'll be the same way too. Then I was like, fuck, bro. What are you gonna do now? Remember Luke told you, you're like, I don't know. Understandable. Then I asked you a little later on, do you do you regret doing this? You said no. But you did say, we shouldn't happen because things will be different. You probably be further ahead. Okay, so you just proved my point, huh? <laughs> you just proved my point. I never regretted the decisions I no, made. No, no, you said you said you said verbally you didn't regret it, but I could see it. You did, even though you didn't say. It, <laughs> this niggas a fool. This niggas a fool. You changed your story. You saying something different. You did say the same thing, but your eyes said different. That means right now you saying something different. This looks so bad. If I was Myron, I would have had to cut this off. I'd be like, yo, you making us look horrible, bro. His eyes, nigga. Whatever. Bro, I was there. You, you could see the, the words in my eyes? Yeah, bro, obviously it was bro, a difficult situation. Bro, you were freaking out. Yes, of course. Things get difficult. I'm sure Candace is freaking out right now. I'm it, sure Chris is freaking out. I'm sure right. Pavel Durov in jail is freaking is out right point. now. Not everyone wants to go through that bullshit. If you don't want to go through difficult situations because you don't care about telling the All truth, right. then that's fine. Wait, this is fresh as bugging. Fresh, I'm telling you, no matter what you say about a sneaker, how much you dislike him or you disagree, because I'm, I'm there with, with that party of I disagree with sneaker on a lot of things. Right. But when we're talking about the context of this conversation, he's the one that sounds like he has 
his right mind. You know what I mean? I know. No, no, no. So hold on. By your argument, everyone on here is just, you know what? Make a channel on YouTube. No, 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 no. I'm, no, not, no, I'm in, not saying that. Honestly, and then the people are going to take this offensive. When someone is saying the truth in your response or answers to bring up a bunch of shit that got nothing to do with nothing that they're saying as a way to discredit who they are, to make it seem as if they're, I'm not saying anyone did this, I'm just saying in general, um, to, to make it seem as if what they're saying now isn't valid, then it shows like maybe something in you. It, it can appear that maybe what you're saying is dishonest or maybe even demonic. It's like more ab homonyms and shit like that. If we're talking about just this statement of selling souls for the bag and all that, whatever the hell opinion Sneaker has previously to this topic, this discussion, it really looks bad. Be, well, but he said this stuff. But, but that's, he said this five years ago. This, that makes you look crazy. <laughs> Especially in the eyes of debated, it looks disingenuous. How about we talk about right now? What, what did he say right now, though? What did he say right now? How, what do you think about what did he say right now? What do you think about what he's saying against what Fresh is saying? Because when you say bah, 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 about this one person, it makes it seem as if you're defending Fresh's point right now, which is his point is dumb as hell. But I just want to state, I'm not saying any of you are doing that. I'm just, this is just a statement. Somebody might be watching this later on. Damn, them sirens is loud outside. Hope whoever, is that the, if that's the ambulance, I hope whoever is in there is okay. Wait, no, 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 no. That wasn't my no, argument. No, no, no. I'm, I'm telling you what. I'm saying what some people saying? need to do it. No, that's fine. Then but do not, not everyone, call the people that do it. Do not shame them and say you made a mistake. I didn't shame them. I shamed you. Okay. So I'm in that category. Don't say that I made a mistake because no, no, no. I never said that and I do not believe that. Hold on, hold on. You and I both know if you think your broken YouTube, clock is right two times. Today. It probably is running around with OnlyFans whores in no, LA. No, 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 no. That was funny. Is that what the life <laughs> no, that, no, you, no, that no. you want people to live? You're putting in a concept because you want to make it look bad. <laughs> we no, both that's, know that's what I would be doing. Sorry, that's prob if I was a mainstream I YouTuber, I would be cool. making nonsense content, selling a lie, not telling the truth. Some people need to do it. If I had stayed on YouTube, would I have made more money? Maybe. Would I be like have more industry connection? Would I be at a Diddy party and a Mike Rubin party? Maybe. But is that worth Crazy. trading for what I have now? No. And like you said earlier, the most important thing is a connection to God. That's something that I've been able I to agree. find. If I was still had all the mainstream connections and I still was like doing the dance that they want you to dance to, would I have a connection with God? Maybe not. So do not say I made a mistake. I, you're like doing the smirk thing, but it's it's a silly argument you're making. You know why I think that's bullshit? Why? I know you very well, Sneeko. I knew you for quite a while. You go from genre to genre based on how could benefit you in, in the moment. Right? What did you say? Shit. You come genre to, to genre. Oh, snap. This is getting personal. This ain't even about the topic no more. That was just a, a shot at Sneeko saying that he switches genres whenever he sees it fits him. Uh, he has switched, I guess you can say, from when he first came out, when it comes to his style. But if I'm just being honest, um, and I haven't watched him recently. I don't think Sneeko Sneak switched up that much. When Sneeko was a teenager doing like voiceovers with video game play in the background, he was spitting man's fair shit. It was more from a discovery of this is what I just noticed in life. Right. Um, so I don't know if I could say that he switched up, but styles, I would say. Um, I would say certain opinions probably switched since he got banned from YouTube. Right. I know he'd been doing his like religion thing, was following that pretty hard. But I don't know. I just think that was just a personal shot. And he just said he was just trying to troll him or he's going after him pretty much. So it just is what it is. Right. Which is like the, I want to say, not yeah, genre, but like dumb right now. different types of like content based on your current situation. For example, you did the stuff about being free spirited right. where you can get older it. and finding yourself is not riding the waves. Correct. Then give your opinions on topics and i still do i just made a documentary and then about you went from that to red pill and i'm still here and on a red pill podcast right now no no but you just talked shit about us the other day and then i didn't talk shit about you no the red pill red pill itself yeah i've been talking shit about the vasectomy thing for over a year yeah but you were in the oh same. fresh gotta shut up all right listen i'm a red pill guy myself right in real life before youtube right reading books all that knew who rollo was before he made a youtube channel 
I hate the fact that man's fear and red pill, especially on YouTube, is combined in a sense to where people think it's the same thing. Man's fear is advice for men, helping men to get better, dating, yada, yada, yada. Red pill is the truth, <laughs> right? That's, I hate when people confuse the two, right? When it comes to fresh and fit, I would say Myron is more of a red pill guy who covers man's fear stuff on fresh and fit with uh, fresh. Fresh is just a man's fear guy who really just want to make money and go to the club and be a star. Right, you can tell from the way he dressed, the way he act, the fact that he said he wanted to lose weight and has not lost any weight since. Nick, like, you just tell his whole focus is off, right? 100%. 100%. Fresh is just, I don't know what he's doing, right? But yeah, there's two different things. Man's fear, red pill, right? If Sneeko gave an opinion about man's fear, Right. And certain things that might be getting taught that's incorrect, like a vasectomy or whatever, then that's a man's fear thing. That's not him talking crap about fresh and fit. That's not him talking crap about the red pill. That's him giving a statement and saying he disagrees with certain things within a man's fear. Newsflash a lot of people within a man's fear disagree with each other. Rolos beefing with other people, fresh and fit beefing with a, a whole lot of people. It just is what it is, bro. But it's two different things. Group. Anyhow. The, I'm the, still here. I'm still on your podcast right now. No, but there's no girls here. The point is, you go from topic to topic. I'm just saying, if you were still on YouTube, I guarantee you, you say the whole thoughts in the OnlyFans thing, that may be a component, but that would not be the only thing that you do on, on Yeah, YouTube. Fresh is acting right? feminine okay. as hell right now. So, 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 so I'm just trying to say, opportunity comes at a cost. <laughs> that cost, I think, in person, personal opinion, it's not worth it. <laughs> for some people, it's not. Coats. Okay. So why am I going to tell them, yeah, go be a martyr, tell the truth and get banned. For what? Okay. Unless you want to, we're, we're going, go ahead. We're going in circles. The but, point right. is some people need to do it. And if you don't want to, that's fine. Okay. But don't shame the people. We should be encouraging the no, people. No, I'm shaming you. you should, we should be encouraging the people. Like when smell. the guy comes he on smelled. and he risks his job. I did. Okay. So so what is the shame with me? What, do, what is your... I'm just showing you. Okay. So you're just yapping like one of the whores who come to the panel? Well, yes. That's exactly what he's doing. I'm just trolling you. I hate, fam, I hate that. When someone does that and we're having a conversation and we're talking about something, I no longer want to have conversations with these people. I've cut people off for that. Like, I don't know if you think my time is something that you could just waste, <laughs> right? We've been debating for 20 minutes about some shit. I'm just trolling you. Word, I will never talk to you again. <laughs> you ain't going to waste my fucking time. If you say hello to me, that might be a troll. So I'm just ignoring it. That's what you do to trolls. You ignore it. So yeah, once she said that, the conversation is done. Oh, oh, just for also content. because I think yeah, it's just for content. This is a bitch move. Way different. Childish. Yep. I would I not engage with this. People that support you. I know certain things behind the scenes. I won't say <laughs> camera. But it's like, what do you know? I just think. What do you know? Been? I hate when people say that too. I know certain. It's like you trying to like spare me. Say it. Put it on front. The fact that you even brought it up means you want to because you think you have nothing else. Put it out there. What you want to expose? That's what I would have said. This you conversation would have went different. Okay. If I was you there. keep saying if that. If it was happening to me. You can't change what happened. No, I'm, I'm not saying so that. So why do you keep saying that? Right. Because we both know you can stop there. Okay. So what is the point of he saying didn't this now? He want to. So that everyone can see watching here, they have a choice to make. Either you can tell the truth well, at a cost uh, or make content and... You back. realize I'm still making the content that I was making during my my like creative era. I just made this a documentary. In Bos- He's trying to tell everyone to come on to YouTube and become fake and lie. We don't need more of that. There's already too much of that, nigga. We need more truth. Right now, you should stay within guidelines. That's the conversation I should be had. <laughs> right? right? And that's where Sneeko messed up. It wasn't that, oh, well, you should have lied and been fake. Right? You could have been like Kai. You could have been like uh Aiden, right? And did things. I'm not saying necessarily these guys are fake, but those are people that if something is truth, but it can hurt their chance, they'll just stay away from it. You could have did that. But Sneeko chose to just ride a, you know, ride it out. And he don't went down with the ship like a captain. <laughs> like whether we disagree with him or not, I actually respect that. I respect the hell out of people that go down with the ship. I was saying it's some of the best work I've made, you know, and, and that's something I maybe wouldn't have the finances. Maybe I wouldn't have the, the knowledge to make it if I was still on YouTube. I, not, I, nothing was really taken away. Actually, I, I would advise people if you have real convictions and you believe in something, tell it no matter the cost. 
say the truth and having that like me rejecting the gambling deal that they offered i take more pride in that i'm more happy with myself and my soul than having the 20 million dollars what are you really going to do with that extra money what you can't take it with you when right. you die what's more important is that you know you did the right thing and the people around you are proud of you tell the truth do the right thing don't right. sell your soul so you're telling me if i don't go on camera and I, it doesn't just, it's not just about podcasts. It's about any, any aspect of life. Like the guy who came on and risked right. his job, he's coming here and he's, he's telling the truth about what happened in, in the immigration, the U S and U S customs. And now he's going to have that, that pride and, and know with himself that I did the right thing. It don't thing. seem like fresh guy. Even though every, all, everything, all the cards were stacked I against know. me. I chose to make the right decision. But what does he have by his back? Who will figure it out? No, he has God. So, okay. But th that's what I'm saying. That is the answer. If you're doing this willy nilly, what do you really have? Nothing. Are you disagreeing with me or not? It's just saying shit, bro. God wouldn't tell you to lie, nigga. Like, what are you talking about? How you brought God in this? This sounds so stupid, bro. This is so stupid. You said self-censorship to stay in guidelines is insidious. You are your own censor. They don't have to do any work. Silence what they don't want said. It happens for sure. Right. Um, you can still say what needs to be said without saying it, though. Right. And I think that's what a lot of people uh, miss. I don't come on here and lie, but I don't jeopardize my channel either. <laughs> I will put out disclaimers and all that and people might get annoyed, but I'm going to do what I have to do. I will let it be known. Hey, I'm not saying this because I hate anybody. <laughs> I don't have any hated. Why would you say that? Why didn't I get banned for saying it? When I think about that, no one ever thinks about that when they give me criticism for when I put disclaimers in front of shit, right? So yeah, I still think that you can to tell um, the truth, but you, you have to stay in guidelines. So yes, you can tell the truth and still stay in guidelines. You just got to be smart and do it a certain way. Sneeko was going that I don't give a F route and the fact that he's willing to still stand on it though, ain't nothing wrong with it. If that's, that's just his choice. I'm not going to sit here and try to like shame him and get him to try to say something that he doesn't really mean. I think this is a personal thing. I think Fresh like just has like a beef or issue with Sneeko. And instead of just being straight up and them talking about it off camera behind the scenes, nigga, throwing the boxing gloves on or something. Instead, he's doing this real passive aggressive thing. And it's like, it's extremely feminine. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? I just told you. Yeah, he just pushed it. Either you make content. Right, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't either. Cause dude, you're going to loops. You're going to loops. <laughs> okay. Do you think I made a mistake? Yes or no? Personally, I think so. Okay, then uh, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna try to. And also, you somebody that. else too as well. That who cares is right now? But okay, let's let's move on. I don't think you made a mistake, bro. I think you did the right thing. I think if you had stuck on YouTube, more than likely you probably wouldn't have found God. You wouldn't have converted to Islam. Mm -hmm. You'd be a degenerate like Aiden Ross and Kai Sana. Or you'd be doing be dumbass wild. content. Look at what Sneeko was doing when he was on YouTube. This nigga was doing stuff that put him in categories of being a cuck. He's not on YouTube. He got smart. Sometimes it takes certain things like a mistake and a hard lesson in order for you to get your act together. Right? And him saying he doesn't regret it, don't want to take it back. It's him saying he chooses the Lord. Right? And and uh, clip farming and stuff like that. And I think uh, you're definitely probably one of the younger streamers that's doing something positive and helping guys out versus being one of these stupid ass I don't think you made a mistake at all. Yeah, I, mean, I think you did the right thing and you went at Preserving your ability to spread your message is very different from self-censorship. Mm. Okay, I can agree with that. You can change your verbiage without changing the message. And stepped up and I talked about a that. topic that's very censored that everyone is scared to talk about and brought awareness to it. Um, you I just consider it censorship as well. And I think that was, you know, fortunate you can't relationships just say as well. Apparently. And I was able to bring some of these people on our podcast and bring them out to the greater thing. So I think in general, no, man, I, I think you didn't make a fucking mistake at all. I think you did the right thing because had it not been, uh, for you going down that path, you wouldn't have met certain people. You met those people. I met those people like Nick, etc. We had really great conversations, woke up a bunch of people. Every time I'm on Twitter, I get messages from people saying that we woke them up. It's a certain situation. Obviously we're on Twitch, so I can't say it, but I think you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and this is something that a lot of people are not aware of. And I think it's, it's great, right? See? Especially with what's going on in the world right now. You see, like just right now, that was, that's an example. <laughs> he knew, he knew what he was talking about. The supporters know what he's talking about. He still didn't say it. What's wrong with that? Like, I don't think there's nothing wrong with what my image just did. Now in our foreign policy of being an election year, people are more educated on it. So yeah, 
I'm going to say what it is. You made a mistake. I'll tell you why. <sighs> We're not seeing. This guy's not. I don't know how the hell the last statements from Fresh was, okay, let's move on. Sneaker wants to move on. Myron says his statement. And out of no, now Fresh want to talk about it again. This is crazy, bro. It's like when your girlfriend want to talk, but she won't just say she want to talk. <laughs> like, just I say no, no, no. We're not seeing the people that oh lost their jobs gosh. following your rhetoric. People that actually are in debt from your rhetoric. We're not seeing as well people that actually have opportunities that were lost from the Jew talk and all that stuff. We're not seeing none of that shit. I see it. Also, opportunity-wise, we're going to- Remember, this video is for educational purposes. And also, I have no hate or disdain for any community. This video is for educational purposes. The events, you know what they say? You can't be in here. And I have to be like, yo, you know what? Fuck that. He's a good person, da, da, da. And it's like, you're saying this, but you don't tell them the, the bad side of it. There's a, there's a bad side to it. That is not money. No, he's been oh, pretty transparent monetary. about that, bro. He's no, been no, transparent no, no. about the bullshit there, that he's dealt with. We have to. No, no, there's more that I didn't yeah, say. Talk about all this stuff. No, no. Uh, I can go into more detail. Okay. Here's the truth. I'll say it out loud. The cost of it is, though, is that people that are close to you that appreciate it. This nigga get is dragging this. You want to talk about it? What? What are you talking about? Oh yeah. I mean, I can say some things, but I, you, you want a camera? What, what are you talking? Are you Nigga, trying to air out my personal life? That's what, what it what seems like. Just so he could win a debate that he already said was over. Just so he could win a debate that was already over. Yes. I don't. Want, I, I, so, so then, what are you that's saying? What it right sounds now? like we have talks in the past. He told me some things that I don't ever repeat. So then, why are you saying this right now? Because right. you're telling them something. That's not genuine. Okay, fresh. Like, do you not understand? If you work a nine to five job, don't just start talking about the Jews in the office space. Stop it. See, that's what th that's what I'm saying. You're telling them to go fight for. Remember when I said that he was baiting him for something? Remember when I said that a few? He was he keep. I said I knew it. I said he's gonna keep going because he's baiting him. He's trying to get him to say something. Honor, fight I, for the I truth. Just also, I have no hate. I just think for any communities this is for educational purposes. I, and then when they lose their job, it's like, oh, but Sneeko said to go do this. Yeah, but he didn't tell you that you might lose your job. Okay. Having, I mean, hold on, here's the wife and kids. Hold on, wait, hold on. You don't hold understand wait, the point of what I'm speaking about. wife and kids. Okay. And I has no job. So now, what does he do? Am I telling He's people to crash out that. and like lose their job? No, I'm saying have convictions and do what you, you think is right. just said to them, go and speak the I truth just said, don't at do all that. costs. Yo, I'm going to go crazy here. There's different yes, levels. Yes, you are going crazy. Nigga, if you are a garbage man, you should have no business going into the owner's office or the boss's office and start saying stuff. Like, that sounds crazy. Do your damn job. You don't got to speak to nobody at your job, fresh. If you <laughs> do your job, nigga. Right? Like, that sounds crazy. But then if your job is to speak, right? If that is your job, then speak your opinion, nigga. This is really there's draining. There's my no energy. point of doing Thank you. that. Thank you. In the dentist's office, there's no point in talking about Israel. That doesn't have an effect. Well, guess what they're doing? That doesn't. They're people aren't finished. doing that because of my streams. What are you talking about, bro? We. Do you think people are just talking about feminism in the off, like at HR? Yes, they are, bro. I am outside. I'm with the people. I'm places. Your places too. Mm. They tell stories about what happens. The the bigger thing, rather than just talking about the nigga, so what if someone lost their job from the stuff that you and Myron said? Like, come on, my nigga. <laughs> like, what, what are you talking about? Your job ain't my responsibility. How about that? Your job is not my... Imagine me losing my job or losing the opportunity to create on YouTube and blaming someone else that's not me. Well, I shouldn't have been watching those Fresh and Fit podcasts, man. Fresh said it was okay. Like, what? How old are you? Fresh said it was okay. Controls the world is doing what you think is right, regardless. Say they make you an offer, like you can make ten million dollars more if you sell alcohol, for example, and you say no, I have convictions. I don't want to poison the world, and you take a different job. That's what I'm speaking about. Don't sell your soul here. It doesn't mean go crash out and scream and yell about Zionism all day long. There's different levels of conviction, and how do you not understand this? See, not everybody is a streamer. Doing what you think is right and doing what you're supposed to do and making the world a better place is bigger than just streaming. Well, then say that because when you say, how do you not understand that? Do you think that there's just content wow. creators watching this? Well, hold on, hold on. You just said 
They do think <laughs> you think grown ass adults is idiots. That's what that sounds like. You think they stupid. Place they do at home, they do it in place of business. When you do that, what are they doing? Destroying their lives. Okay. Be honest. They should be, tell them you shouldn't just should destroy that. your life. But then tell tell them that. Do you, it, do you think that these people are retarded? Well, <laughs> it seems like it, you, but he, your audience what he some, sometimes they'll go and do that stuff in public. And then it's your like well, give me one example of this happening. Like y'all don't share audience. <laughs> your audience. Like they don't share audience. Especially if they going and talking to you, they gotta be fans of you, right? So that's your audience. How are you blaming Sneeko? How are these people grown as adults, right? Grown men are not blaming themselves. And this is a man's fear channel. And someone comes to you and blames Sneeko for how they lost their job. They describe it. They did something. And you as a man's fear channel, don't tell them, take accountability for yourself. Sneeko, it's crazy. <laughs> Did you call these on camera? <laughs> See, I... This is where I'm going to start because I don't want to call her name on the camera. Up, but we've been in a situation where like people complain that, yo, listen, bro, like I love your stuff, but like that was my job. And it's like... That's happened with somebody in my audience? You yes, have an bro. example of that happening? I won't say here, but yeah. And year, I have. why have you heard about this and I've never heard about one instance of somebody losing their job because of Sneeko well, content? Well, you've lost other stuff, Sneeko. What? Is this Remember Nico Vegas? talking about? You want to be somewhere? Okay, Fresh, can you just cut the shit? Cause it's like yeah, stop speaking right. in codes. I'm trying not to just say I really hate not that. <clears throat> I really hate that. I really hate that. It's it's passive aggressive, bro. Camera, just say what the fuck is it, you're, are you thinking about? I'm gonna try to okay, camera. we were at Power Slap. It was live on stream. Everybody saw it. You don't need to keep on doing like riddles. Okay, we <laughs> saw what happened. Not just that though. <laughs> okay, the, the, I'm not having a conversation with someone who's just gonna like. Yeah, fresh. If you're gonna say, it, you just, just gotta just, say it, bro. Like, what the just, fuck? Just you, say it if that's what it is. Because you bring it up and then you do this. It's like, it, 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 you know. And if you but, don't want to say it, that's but, fine. Then but we the can just is, move on. I didn't make my point. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. I know, but I remember with a lot of this stuff. I made my point. I don't, I'm not sure what your point is. The point is, tell them the truth. If you say this stuff in public. Mm. That was your point out after all this. <laughs> don't lose your job talking about no, Jews I'm, and the dentist office. I'm oh saying gosh. the truth. I have no hate for any community. <laughs> it's needed. Is being just dragged well, out. I want to burn their bridges for the truth. Right. The, the overall point is have to say some people got to do it. He doesn't say everybody. He said that earlier. No, I did too. Okay, and then, and then you were sh you said yeah, I made so a mistake. Right. So no, what are you talking for about? For you specifically, yeah. Me specifically, I made a mistake. Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. All right, whatever. That's it. Yeah, but you, you haven't provided any substantial evidence. Yeah, I'm telling you, Fresh just wanted to get something off his chest, bro. <laughs> this is, that's all this sounds like. I made a mistake. Like, I, I'm in a good position financially. I still have access to my platform, still able to do what I love doing. I, I'm, I'm very blessed. Um, my family's like, where, where have I made a mistake where like, if I've made a mistake, there'd be something wrong in my life or something missing or something that I wish that I had. And I, there's right. nothing, there's zero regret for anything I've done. That's good. So is it really a mistake then, bro? No, right. Because of where he is now, but back then I was less successful when I was still on YouTube. I know. Okay. Yeah, I, he I, wasting I'm, niggas time. Yeah, he's doing better now without YouTube. I know. So, so what mistake? are you talking about? Well, dude, what guys, is it's not paused, guys, by the way, I just, I just want to let you rewind that back. I'm not pausing it, right? When, it, when they're doing that, Fresh just got nothing. He don't have nothing to say. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, let's just move yeah, on. He's doing better now without YouTube. I know. So how's that a mistake? Well, dude, what are you talking about? I'm gonna leave it there. Leave it there I'm gonna leave it there. Ah, uh, bro, I don't think you're, you made a mistake, man. I think, I, like I said before, had you not been, bro, fresh, uh, fresh uh, will win an argument in his head because he thinks of a point without saying. Right. It. Like, yeah. I mean, why you know? Because he's too soft. I was gonna say another word. He's too damn soft to just say his opinion, bro. bro. I'm protecting people that are not on camera. That's that's all I'm doing, bro. You're not like CIA. Like, nobody. like you always talk about like Illuminati rooms and stuff. <laughs> just say what the fuck you're thinking. It's this is I, we're I, on I a podcast. Did. I already did. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. All right, I'll get my take. I don't think you made a mistake. Had you uh, not gotten off of YouTube, you wouldn't have been resourceful and done other things and had other conversations right. and met other people. And meeting those people has definitely opened certain doors that might have not been available to you when you were on. On YouTube, 
And um, who knows what path you would have went down if you got more like and more Like the A twenty four, for example, like working with Kanye West, like that was like one of the dreams I had as, as a kid. That would not have happened if I was still on YouTube and I wasn't speaking about this. Like, yeah, right you would have been scared. You would have been scared to even get on that whole thing. The right. connections that I made with people after, like post ban, are way better than the connections that I had before. Like, uh, right. those are fake connections, <laughs> right? Like him talking to all the popular people who ignored his ass and walked past him once he got canceled, that benefits him none to be okay and cool with them people. Not like on some real man ish. It doesn't benefit him. Zirin, for example, that's somebody that I've met through uh, speaking about the subject and speaking about this topic. So, so many people like the, uh, there's, I think it's better. Like uh, every, every decision I've made and the path that my career has taken since then has, has been substantially better in every aspect. I would say that you're forging bonds with stronger like a uh, stronger bonds versus like if you had like had the fame and clout like then you have superficial been, like, bullshit been superficial mm -hmm. bullshit. exactly so i mean yeah man i i think um in my opinion looking at it i don't think you made a mistake i think you did you did what you felt like you want to do and at the end of the day it all boils down to can you go to sleep at night right. if you can go to sleep at night Who and be proud of what else? you do that's that's what matters man it's i don't think money and fame is everything but um you know everyone has different opinions uh but yeah yeah that's crazy like, I don't know why they tried to let a uh, fresh cook because he definitely didn't cook. That nigga was making ramen. Not even a good kind. I think a microwave the cup. Anyway, anyway, I digress. I think that fresh was uh, tripping. Myron probably should cut him off a little bit more. <laughs> hey, hey, man, you sound crazy. You sound nuts. Um, unless they were just looking for a uh, clip to bait and try to get views. Maybe going at Sneeko makes them look better in the woke eyes so they could like try to get an entryway. But who knows? That's just my opinion. Tell me what yours is down in the common comments. I said the common comment section. <laughs> Check me out on Patreon too for as low as $1 as well. I'm eating crackers because I'm hot and I started getting a little bit hungry. But that's not why I'm here. I want to tell you guys that you get early access to all my videos if you sign up for channel memberships. And not only that, if you sign up for my Patreon, you get access to my podcast. Oh, we get real crazy on it. I'm taking my shirt off. My shirt coming off. You better sign up. Shirt coming off, man.